prayer here. All right. A warm greetings and welcome to the chief guest, Mr. Lo Jun Jack, and a respected chairman, trustee of Aditya Institutions, the CEO and faculty members and fellow students of Aditya School of Business Management. We are very sure that we have done our best so far, and we will be continue to carry out our education objectives to develop our graduates to stand out differently with academic values and inculcate that competency to outperform at workplace. While academic excellence is our major thrust, the Institute is also devoted to preparing our students to face the life's challenges of tomorrow. Today, the first MBA students and hereafter, you are the executive learners of our institution Aditya School of Business Management, ASBM, with the motto, experience the corporate life, is the culture practiced to build your character and nurture you for the world of business. The following are the beliefs which we have to commit and work towards to nurture innovative and business mindsets, inculcate competency to outperform at workplace, instill can do attitude and culture, ability to accelerate business transformation and creating an, an impact to the society as a responsible leader. This is what we are committed with and we have to work towards. With that note, my appreciations and gratitude to the parents for the faith you reposed on us and our team. Our heartiest wishes to the parents, faculty members and fellow students for joining this occasion. And once again, I welcome all of you and God bless. With that, I would like to invite Professor Lakshmi Kant to introduce our chief guest officially now. Our today's chief guest, Mr. Lo Jun Jack, the founder and managing director of Axon Group, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, who is qualified with International Business Strategy Professional Level 7. He is endorsed with ABC Awards and SETA Awards by the London Examination Board UK. He is also Cali Certified Talent Analyst. He is a lead ISO Auditor for both uh, the Quality Management System and the Environmental Management System. Mr. Jack is also a strong academician, served as Principal and Director of Studies for about seven years in Olympia College, Malaysia. He has designed a program curriculum for higher education in the field of management. Mr. Jack trained and implemented rubrics assessment system for 130 subjects. He was recognized with the Star Outstanding Business Award in the category of Merit 2019. These are the few credentials of our today's chief guest. With this, sir, I request you to take over the session. Uh, to all of you. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak. And uh, I hope that. Mr. Jack, the I, voice is not so clear. Maybe you could look into it. Thank you. Uh, so I hope that our session will help you all right, for your coming few, uh, in the future. All right. So uh, today, we are going to share with you a little bit about being a manager because once you finish your studies, all right, uh, when you go to work, MBA opens you the door for you to become a manager. All right. So when the door is open for you to become a manager, you have the opportunities all right, uh, of climbing up the corporate ladder and a lot of people will see you being, you know, someone successful, you see? all right? But behind, as a manager, how it is like, this is what I want to share with you today. 
to prepare you for the future, all right? To prepare you for the challenge that is upcoming, all right? So being a manager is our topic for today, all right? And this is me, <coughs> all right? Uh, thank you for introducing me, uh, you know, my friends, okay, from India. And uh, you can call me Jack, all right? You can find me in all kinds of places. You can Google for me. And uh, you can also uh, reach out to me anytime you wish, okay? Um, I started as a computer technician, right? Uh, repairing computers, okay? All right, I started as a computer technician repairing computer uh, when I was age uh, 18 years old. And uh, being a computer technician, right? Normally our job is not very wide scope. Uh, we always are limited to repairing the computers, right? Um, so as a computer technician, I lose a lot of uh, opportunity because I don't have an MBA. And uh, since I got my MBA, I am able to start climbing up the corporate ladders, all right? I'm start, I started to go, you know, up the hierarchy, climb up the corporate ladder, and more and more opportunities are open to me, okay? <clears throat> now, being in uh, the process of climbing the corporate ladder, I learned a lot of things, okay? I learned a lot of things that are very helpful that I want to share with you today. All right, I want to share with you today. So, um, <coughs> traditionally, traditionally, okay, we are being taught, all right, as a manager, all right, if you are as a technician, where I was, okay, being, a, you know, someone who repair computer, Right, being someone who repair computer as a technician, we always do the job. Right, we felt that we have no power. We earn a lot of, you know, we don't earn much money. This is how we felt. All right, this is how we feel. And our job is very hard. Okay, our job is very hard. And we always see that our boss or bosses has a more relaxed job. Their job is more simple. So we felt that as we go up the ladder, that we can earn more money, but easier job. This is how we felt. And always we go to our bosses to ask for approval. So they are very powerful. They make decisions, but we cannot. That is how a corporate life is. This is how we felt. And because they got more money, we felt that they are more wealthy also. Wealthy means you have money and you have happy life, you got healthy body. All right? That is how we were felt. Unfortunately, all right, I want to bring up one case, all right? This is a case of healthy wealthiness. Thomas Koch. Thomas Koch is from Hong Kong. All right? He is one of the most uh, uh, largest developers, uh, owner, the company Big Boss, all right, largest developer in Hong Kong, all right? He developed houses, you know. In Hong Kong, because it's an island, the building are very tall, and every square foot or every square meter of the building is very, very expensive. People have to pay a lot of money, all right, to stay in Hong Kong, just to rent a room. And he, Mr. Thomas Koch, is the developer. Can you imagine how much money he makes? Unfortunately, I want to show you that the reality is that having in the top position doesn't mean you are wealthy. You cannot, you might not have a happy life because look at him. He has 10 years having internal lawsuit with his family. That means brother and sister no more together. They are no more good friends. Young time, maybe play together, have fun together, but now no more. They are, he is on his own. All right? Because he has lawsuit 
of family inheritance. His land was forced to sell. He was forced to sell his land. Can you imagine your house you have to give away? You are forced to sell, all right, his land. He also ended up five years in prison for bribery, all right? And he was a bit better because he got an early release in 2014. Otherwise, he would be still in the prison until lately. So if you look at this, having in the top position, having a lot of money doesn't mean you are wealthy. No, that is not true. It has no relationship at all. All right, it has no relationship at all. Okay? Now, the reality of being the top management, all right, <clears throat> in the job, okay, the If, you, if I have uh, been a technical class, computer repair job, I'm doing every day the same job. But comparing to be a top manager, all right, you think it's a relaxing job? No, because 95% of my job is actually to support the staff. That is a reality. All right, and I have to spend a lot of time for right, detailed study. But being a technical job, we are doing more hands-on. You see what you do, all right? You use your hand, you feel it, all right? So in reality, all right, being the top management, you don't really do so many technical jobs, which means whatever that you are doing at a technical level, as you are becoming more, you are not doing the same job. This is also why if you are a very good salesperson, you can sell a lot of clothes or you can sell a lot of perfume. If you are becoming a manager or you start your own business, selling the clothes, selling perfume, doesn't mean you can be successful. That doesn't mean you can be successful because the job change, all right? From no support at a technical level to 95% support, all right? That is a very big difference for a person, all right, in his job. This is the reason why in the world, in the whole world, a successful salesperson doesn't mean he is a successful sales manager, all right? This is proven, all right, in the whole world. So today we're going to talk about you being a manager, all right, getting you ready. So let's look at this, all right? When we talk about a manager, this is what we wish to be, all right? This is what we wish to be, meaning we wake up at six o'clock, all right? <laughs> uh, have a nice breakfast, then we leave home, go to work, look at what is the problem for the day. Uh, we see what, uh, you know, check uh, all your staff work, then we meet business, talk business, this is a wish, all right? This is a wish list. Let me show you. This is the reality. As a manager, nothing is cast on stone. You don't know what's going to happen next one minute. All right? Today, we are saying that uh, we want to do, uh, you know, sharing with you, all right? Not knowing that in reality, there's another appointment waiting for me already. Or there will be a phone call calling me saying that, hey, I got this emergency. So things will happen that you cannot control. Look at this. Change because of business event. Change, 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 change. So sometimes you have to wake up at 3 a.m. Just to work. You work because you of business requirement. You will have to work maybe until 1 a.m. All right, you have to work until 1 a.m. And that is not the end. Sometimes you work 24 hours as a manager. Now, this is the, you know, reality of being a manager. All right.
But this is the reality of being a manager. <clears throat> All right. So, some people say manager has more friends. This is a manager's office. All right. A real working manager office is always a little bit messier and it's always alone. Have you ever seen a manager's office always got friends sitting, work together, talk to each other? No, you will not have. Because as a manager, right, you always have to focus on the job. Right? I'll tell you more about what you focus on your job. But when you focus on your job, you're alone, right? You don't get to mix with your peers. You don't get to mix with your colleague. Probably they won't even talk to you because it's about job. Right? You won't have time to ask them, oh, what are you going to eat tonight? All right? Or can I bake you a cake? You will not have the time. Right? I'll give you an example. Look at this. Look at this table. So many work on the table for this manager. Right? Look at this. Uh, so much of work. Okay, this is a better organized. All the files are here. All the files are here. Right? His laptop. So many things. Okay. So the reality is, all right, the manager's responsibility is to look after the whole company. All right? Is to look after the whole company. So what I want to show you here, let me show you. Okay. Where is my whiteboard? Okay. So if you look at here, all right, in an organization here, right? If you look at the whole organization, all right, we have hierarchies. All right. So in an organization hierarchy, the manager here is responsible for everyone here, everyone here, and everyone here. All are responsible for. He is in charge of everything. All right, he is in charge of everything. Everyone under him, he is responsible. But the staff here, or the technical staff, he is only responsible for himself. He is only responsible for himself. So he needs to worry about his own job in the workplace. Right? He needs to worry about his own job in his workplace. So there's a huge difference. All right? There's a huge difference when we compare these two. All right? So if you look at here, all right? The manager's responsibility, you can see that they are overall the company or the department. Okay? They are also responsible for the workplace culture whether you will have a safe working environment or not. They are also responsible of the staff, all right? Because every staff, whether they bring food back home, it's your responsibility as a manager, all right? It's your responsibility. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail, all right? When you plan to fail, you collect, and all your staff is going to break down. They're going to have no money to bring food back to home. Right, so the staff retention is important. All right, everyone's problem is your problem. That is a manager. All right, that is what you have to deal with. Okay, so the technical, if you are at the lower level, is different. We are looking at your own performance. All right, you're looking at your own performance. You are looking at your own discipline, your own self, your own money, your spending. All right, you make sure you bring home food. That's most important for you. So you worry about your own problem, right? Compared to the other side. If you look at the other side, everyone's problem. So, you know, uh, let's say for example, all right, we can have a uh, staff for the name of, uh, you know, Samu. Samu problem is your problem, all right? Because he cannot come to work, you cannot do your job, all right? Because he is helping you to work, all right? So everyone has to take care of themselves, but the manager has to take care of everyone. So you are not alone, all right? But yet you are alone. 
So the manager's job are highly challenging. All right, they are highly challenging. All right, you have high responsibility. We have high responsibility. All right. You can't plan your own schedule. You can't plan. You can plan for a wish, but you can't always follow to your schedule. And you are always very lonely. The higher hierarchy you are, the more lonelier you are. All right? And very stressful. Okay? You will find here more stress. All right? More working hours. Because after 5 o'clock, you have to work OT to prepare proposal to your customer, to prepare a report to your boss. If you are a manager for a public listed company, you have to prepare a report to the investor. Okay? And it's not necessarily rewarding. Right? It's not necessarily rewarding. Okay? And it's not necessarily happy, not necessarily wealthy, and not necessarily rich. It's only when your staff are doing well, you will do well. Right, that is for the job of a manager. So now the question is, why so many people still want to become a manager? Why? All right, what is it? Of course, you know, they see other people will make more money. They thought it's going to be better. But the reality is more responsibility. Okay, so the reality now, right, I just told you, being a staff at an entry level or a collector staff or supervisor, when you go to a supervisor, become manager, become senior manager, each of it is a different world altogether. All right? So the skill is very different. The skill is very different. And for this reason, all right, I would like all of you to learn, start learning today. To involve yourself to know what you like and like what you do. You got to work every day happily and you must enjoy your life. Not to do a job because it's a job. Because if you do a job because that is your job, you would be tortured. All right? Can you imagine you would like to help and you are being a manager? You are not helping people. Your staff will not help you back. They will not enjoy the time with you. All right. So, in reality, in the future, all right, this is not the best thing to consider. All right, working up a hierarchy is not the best thing to do, but working to the right position is most important to do. All right, then you should think that people who are working with you are people who are helping you. They are spending their time, investing their time to help you. You need to take good care of them. This is you as a manager. All right? <coughs> all right? So, in the future, each one of these red dots is one person. All right? Each one of these is a cluster. In a company, we will have cluster of people and we have individual people. <coughs> Everyone work together. You are not going to be working independently, but in the future, the hierarchy will be flattened. All right? It will be flattened. As times go, companies like Facebook, Google, all right, all the big successful IT companies, they are already changing their big their company infrastructure, right, <coughs> to follow to this kind of hierarchy. All right, meaning that people are working, all right, people are working together, but there is no real hierarchy. You are doing a job because your role or you are responsible for certain things. So this is how it's going to be like. All right. So what we want to promote is for you to manage. All right. Manage what? Manage your love. Let me show you. 
One lump is here, and one lump is here. Love yourself and love everything that you hold. All right? Love yourself and love everything that you hold. Who are you supposed to love? You love your staff. You love your family. You love your colleague. You love your customer. You love your competitor. You love everyone. You must hold them and take good care of them. But at the same time, take good care of yourself. Because only when you can take care of your own self, and you can take care of the other, then you can take care of the whole environment. There's no other thing than this. There's no other thing than this. Because in the whole environment, the lesser you have, all right, in your enemy, the lesser you have, the more success you get. Because then you have more friends. The more friends you have, the more successful you got. The more people you are working together. Remember, I just show you this. All right? The more you have, you can connect more lines. So the more lines you connect together, you get more people to work with you as a team. So when you have more people working with you as a team, the more successful you can be because you have a huge, huge support team. All right? So what we promote here is you have to be yourself. All right? Be yourself being a human. All right? Not being a robot. Not being a curse. You have to be yourself. All right? So you must do what you like every day. Do something that is meaningful and you enjoy it. All right? Then what you are doing is no more a job. So if you are taking care of enjoy taking care of your staff take care of them all right in the future when you work reward them all right if you are working for a manager take care of your manager help your manager because when you take care of them it will come back to you it's a karma all right it's a karma all right so i want to <coughs> promote this to you so that you learn how to know yourself you must know yourself in order to plan what you want to do all right if you have a phone all right you can scan this code all right if you have a phone you can scan this code you can do this test whenever you're free all right you can do this test whenever you're free this is a system to help you to find a suitable occupation based on your interest so that when you work and when you do your thing, you will enjoy, all right? You will enjoy. You are no longer doing a job as a job, but you are doing something that you will enjoy being meaningful to you, all right? In your life, for your surrounding, for your family, then you'll have a better life. Okay. So this system is totally free, all right? We are sponsoring it for you to use because when you finish your MBA, all right, you have to choose an industry, not a job. You must choose an industry for what you want to go for. All right, if you are finding yourself suitable, right, to work in a uh, uh, forest, all right, go for a forest industry or agriculture industry. Don't go for insurance. Though it's a manager for insurance, but you will not enjoy it. You are not going to enjoy it. All right, so the process is very simple. <clears throat> In our system, first you scan, then you register, then you do a test, you will know your report. All right, I repeat, you register, do a test, and do a report. Okay, so, this report will tell you who you are, what you enjoy doing, and what occupation you should be doing. All right? Now, there are codes here, all right, that when you get your report, this is how it looks like. You will have this thing. All right, it's called the code. This 
example I'm sharing with you is code called ECS. ECS will tell you these are the occupations suitable. All right. So this person is suitable to work in commercial. Look at this. Sales, administration, all right, branch department for finance. So it's very much commercial, not into a factory, not into uh, agriculture. All right. So from there, you plan what you want to do in your career. Okay. So it is, why is this important? Because research has actually proven that a person can perform better and have a more meaningful life if he is doing what he likes to do every day. All right. So your job, all right, and what the occupation, the kind of business environment that is created for you because of that kind of job must match your interest. It has to be in the center. Then you will enjoy it. You will be able to contribute. And when you find yourself enjoying it, you will do better and better and better day by day. I give you an example. Steve, Steve Jobs. All right. Do you know who is Steve Jobs? All right. The founder of Apple. He enjoys art. He enjoys creativity. All right. So when he go into the work environment that is creativity, all right, doing innovation, the business becomes successful. All right. When he goes to work in other business that is boring, he cannot he cannot do the job well because that is what his interest is. So he needs to have that kind of environment and that kind of job to be successful, right? If you don't believe, you can go and see Steve Jobs' history. He is only successful and shining like a star, being a very successful person when he is working with Apple. When he is not working with Apple, no one knows who is he. No one knows what he does, all right? Because he is not enjoying that. So this is important. All right. Now, I want to share with you from here, you will know after you do the test, we have six types of person. All right. First is a realistic person. All right. We give a code R. It's called a doer. This kind of people, if you have an R inside your code after you do the test, meaning that you are the type of person who likes to do hands on job. All right. You are the type of person who likes to. Do things by using your hand. Let your hand feel it. For example, being a chef, being a carpenter, being a computer technician. All right? Please bear in mind that you will enjoy this job. It doesn't mean it is a low-ranking job. All right? But you enjoy it. All right? You will enjoy it. So don't take it wrong. All right? Chef can also have uh what they call it chief, uh, chief chef all right you can also have master chef or high level chef same thing for technician all right you can have you can have a uh, chief technician all right and all kind of levels second type if you are getting an eye in your code meaning that you are a thinker you like to investigate you like to find answers you like to Ask why is this? Why is that? You like to ask this kind of question. So if you are in this category of a person, all right, you need to go and find a job that allows you to think. So you might want to go into the workplace that allows you to do this. For example, what are workplace? Let me share with you. All right, researcher. All right, researcher. All right, to go and find information, to go and you know ask people questions so he can find an answer. Doctors, all right, doctors are investigative people. They will be asking you, all right, uh, where is your pain? All right, where is the x-ray? I want to do x-ray so I know what is inside. They want to dig so they know what is wrong. All right, investigative people. Artistic people, if you find yourself having an A inside your code after you do the test, all right, 
You are a person who likes creativity. You can become Steve Jobs. Don't think that people who are art artistic cannot be, you know, successful. You can be, all right? You can, you like to be creative. You like to express yourself, all right? So you can be a good presenter maybe, all right? Of course, you, other than artistic, you also must have a few criteria. I will show you, all right? So you need to have A, if you want to go for creativity job or innovation job. Social, all right? These are people, people. You would like to take care of your friend, all right? You want to make sure that they are successful. You want to see them being good. You feel happy, all right? These are the jobs for people who are like teachers, all right? Like Mr. Sunda, uh, Dr. Sunda, you know? all right? Being a teacher, he likes to see people being a successful. He likes to, you know, help people, all right? It's a people thing. Caring people, all right? So for example, if you want to work in a human resource department, you want to have an S because human resource department is to talk to people. You want to become a psychiatrist, all right? Or you want to become a psychologist. You need to have people. If you cannot do, do help people, you don't enjoy working with people, this is not suitable for you, all right? So for a manager, you must always have people. If you want to become a successful manager, you must always take care of your people. So S is very important for you. All right? Next is enterprising. People with enterprising like challenge. Okay? They like to make sure that they conquer. All right? They like to solve problems. Okay? Uh, I choose, uh, you know... I think uh, Muhammad Gandhi, all right, everyone should know him, all right, because he has shown very, very strong entrepreneurship, all right, quality. He brought, okay, with all the obstacles, all right, he fight and he helped India to become a successful country and won the independence from, in, uh, from uh, British, all right. He is an enterprising person. He moved beyond an ordinary man. So it's very good, all right, enterprising, E. So if you want to go into business, you want to become a manager, E is also very important. You don't need to have maximum E, but you must have some E. That is important. Because you're going to face challenge, all right? You have to solve problems. You are taking care of the whole company. Conventional, C, all right? People who are conventional are people who like to follow rules, all right? They want to follow step by step. For example, like bankers, accountants, right? You can also make very successful living being an accountant, all right? You can also make very successful living being a banker, all right? That also can. And you need MBA for these jobs, all right? You need MBA for this job, all right? So you will have this. All right, if you have this a lot in your conventional, that means you are a person who likes to follow the rules. You don't like to be creative. You don't want right, some surprise that is you, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? It's just that it's you, all right? Being you, you do what you like, you will be smooth and successful. So when you do your test, you will have a result like this, right? From this result, you will know that from these diagrams, whether you are a person who works with data or you like to work with idea. So whichever that is more, all right, means that you are more towards that category of person, all right? So in this case, we can see this person is more towards data because this and this is long. This one is less. This is less, all right? This and this is the same, but this is less. So because this is less, he is not an ideal person. This guy is a data person, all right? Being a data person, he likes statistics, all right? He likes statistics. He don't like creativity. He don't like to be innovative, 
but he wants to see hard fact. He wants to have, you know, uh, a newspaper showing other people have done the job. That is it. Okay. Then we can also look at the second dimension. All right, we can look at second dimension showing that whether you like to follow the rules or you would like to be with people. So if you look at here, it's very clear. All right, it's very clear that this person likes to follow the rules because he has more here. Less here, see? This is less, this is less, this is more, all right? So this guy likes to follow the rules, okay? And if we compare, Also, you can know whether you are more sociable or not. All right, so we separate here. You can see that this person has a lot here, but less here. You see, so he likes to help people. So he likes to help people and he likes to follow the rules. All right, meaning what? He can be an insurance agent. So you can, if you are in this category, you use your MBA, go into the insurance industry. Uh, you can go to the bank industry, right? You are helping people, all right? Or accounts industry, all right? All this legal in industry, being an MBA holder, you carries a lot of value in this. Okay? So, what we want to highlight here is for you, all right? If you want to have a successful life, it's not only about money. It's not only about your position, but it's as a whole body. It's a whole human, all right? Being a whole human, all right, you can be having a very successful person. MBA is a door, all right? It's a key to open the door. So you get a key after you finish this course, you open the door, you have a lot of opportunities. With so much opportunities, you must have a goal, right? You must first stand, set yourself a goal, all right? Now, this goal, I like to start, I like to end with this, Microsoft. Microsoft said this, when, he, when they are most successful in the world, all right, the first or number one most successful company in the world back in 1998, Microsoft asked this question, where you want to go today. This is the most important statement, all right? Where you want to go today. You must know your goal. Today, your goal is to come here, listen to our first sharing, all right? Join and begin your meeting call. This is your goal. You have achieved your first step, all right? Now, what is your next goal? Complete your MBA. After you complete your MBA, what is your next goal? All right? So you must have a goal so that you can focus and you can aim, all right, towards what you want to achieve, right? That is important in life, all right? Is there any questions that you would like to uh, ask? Okay, I'm going to hand this back to Mr. Sunda. All right, Sunda. Yes, Mr. Jack, um, yeah. this, this introduction part is done now, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Jack. And, um, you know, from this um, the session today, this morning first session, which we inaugurated with uh, Mr. Jack, and uh, you all know now, right, your responsibility. That's the reason we have this session with you. And uh, don't worry about the test uh, Mr. Jack was asking about. Uh, we have the link and we... Um, together mr jack and us uh, together we work for all these and we will be having more career driven sessions in future so we will be giving that link to you then the report you can discuss with us we can give some suggestions we can even discuss with you to advise on all those and where to improve and things which you will be doing for the next two years right that's what uh, mr jack was trying to say and the one thing is very clear from this session, which uh, you all 